What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk with you about one very important topic when it comes to validating your own strategies and when it comes to backtesting. So stay tuned, we are coming right back. Okay, so what is that important topic that I want to talk about with you today? It's validating your strategies and while doing so, finding only the winners. It's also called a hindsight trading because it's easy to spot winners when it's done, right? Because you've seen the market move, you, you know that you, I would get engaged exactly right there and I would take that winner. But sometimes when we're backtesting, our mind is structured in a way that we're only looking for winners. That's completely bad because it gives you bad and wrong expectations from your trading strategy. If you don't know what I mean, don't worry about it. I'm just about to show you and don't, don't, don't feel guilty if you find yourself in that example. I'm guilty of doing the very same thing and I kept on doing them. I'm still doing those mistakes, but I am aware of them so I can get back to my strategies and I can go through my backtesting again and uh, find those losers. Because you want to find losers when you're backtesting. You want to find losers when you're uh, validating your strategies. So that they give you the realistic expectations from your strategy so that you have peace of mind that you know that you are winning 50% of time and losing the other 50 or that you're winning 60% of times and that you're losing 40% of time. But that's one of the most important pieces of knowledge you can get from the backtesting or from validating your strategies. So let's get to the charts and let me show you what do I mean by finding only the winners, okay? So we are in front of our charts and believe it or not, in front of yourself, uh, we have a three pattern trade on our one time frame on USD CAD. All three of the trades were covered in our daily uh, market analysis, but here is the perfect example how our eyes and our subconscious is wired to spot those winners and it's very hard or harder for us to find the losers. So let's get with the winners. Let's start with the winners. So first of all, what I saw is this right here. It's potential bad pattern. However, the price action did not come to the entry to the decompletion point. So we didn't get engaged with this. But I immediately, when I took a look at this chart, I saw this potential bad pattern. Okay. But this is a scratch. It's not a valid trade. Now let's check out this. This is the additional one, the one that I took. Boom, two target winner. Very simple, very easy. We immediately see it if we, if we went through our backtesting. So we trained our, our eyes to see it. However, every time when I'm going through the backtesting, and I suppose you do too, if not, that's a good thing. It's very hard to find a loser. So take your time. Take a look for a few seconds, or if you were already looking while I was drawing these winners, have you find the losing bad pattern in this chart? Well, I right now looking at it, I have potential two of them, but I'm not sure is one of them a bad pattern. So look at this. One is, let's start this again. One is right here. It is a bad. <laughs> Can you see this? One loser. And the second one, right there. Now, do you see, we have actually four patterns. Uh, one, two, one that, that was not a valid pattern because it not touched the decompletion point. And we have a one winner and two losers. But I saw immediately the two, the two of them that won. The other two were, were the ones that, you know, I didn't see. And like, that's a normal thing. Most of us are wired to see only the winning patterns and not the losing ones. And that's why the thing that I've been telling you, it's very important when you're backtesting your strategy, when you're finding that validation that you try to focus on finding the losing trades as well. Because that will give you, you know, it, data that you probably will not like as much because obviously you're going to lose in those periods but it will give you confidence when you get all of these data the winners and the losers and everything that you have real something that you can expect because if you take in in consideration only the winners your mind subconsciously will be like okay man this is a kick-ass strategy 
I'm just going to win, 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 win. It's a win percentage of 78, 80% win rate. And it's producing me many pips. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make a lot, a lot of money. However, in reality, those losers will uh, kick in when you're live trading because you don't know, uh, how the market will, you know, what, what the market will do basically. Don't be hindsight trader so that you take a look only at the winners and not at the losers because when you're going through the history of charts when you're backtesting you see what the market did it's easy to spot the winners but it's not easy to spot losers so that's one of the most important things when and one of the most the biggest advices that i can give you when you're just starting out you gotta focus you gotta find to you gotta try to find these losers and then i know this this might suck because it sucks for me Sometimes you spend a lot of time, a lot of time for two weeks or something to backtest the strategy only to find out that the losers outperform the winners and, you know, that's not a profitable strategy on that pair. But don't, don't lose confidence. Look at it in a way that at least you're not giving money away. A lot of people that are just starting out are trading same strategies in different pairs Thinking and believing that if it works on a euro dollar, for example, that it will, it will work on pound yen. That's not the case, guys. I have strategies that are working so good on euro dollar and I'm not even trading them on pound yen. One of them, for example, is a uh, Garkley, I think, or bad pattern has the limitations for me on a pound yen. While on euro dollar is working beautifully. Also, the cipher pattern is working very nice for me on euro dollar, but I'm not trading it on USD CAD. So these kind of examples happen like very often. It's, it's nothing unusual. It's nothing un unnormal. So if you have this example, know that there are a lot of other traders that went through the same thing, uh, went through the same things. And that's, they're still here. They are still profitable. Just, just avoid it. It's not profitable for you. And one other big thing that, uh, you know, it, it, it was very hard for me to grasp is, I can be profitable on euro dollar with the same strategy that I give you that strategy and chances are it might not work for you because our eyes are different. You might see trades that I will avoid. Uh, you might, your subconscious and your training might uh, catch the trades that I would not take and my eyes and my subconscious can catch trades that, that you will not see. So results on the same strategies, even on the same pair, my may vary so never never compare yourself with other traders just stick to your plan stick trade what you see and have what other people see and one more time i will say and then i'll wrap this video up when you're back testing and validating your strategy put a big effort concentrate yourself and start searching for those losers i know it sucks but you have to do it and with that being said thank you very much again for watching this video until the end and speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.